Philosophies of Education, 20 Items Question with Rationalization and Discussion. Stay tuned, and we're starting right now. If you're looking for free review materials, you might want to click the subscribe button to prepare for the licensure examination for teachers. Tons of free and updated review materials are available in our channel, and I'm sure this will help you pass the licensure exam. So stay updated by clicking the subscribe button. Number 1. Knowledge is true if it is workable. What philosophical foundation supports this statement? A. Idealism. B. Realism. C. Pragmatism. Or D. Essentialism. The answer is C. Pragmatism. Pragmatism means what is experienced and observed is true. Hence, what is useful is true. On education, pragmatism involves students to work in groups. Number 2. As a member of the curriculum committee, your chief concern is to give the child freedom to choose what to learn and believe, as you allow them to set their own identities and standards. What philosophy will you consider? A. Existentialism. B. Realism. C. Idealism. Or D. Pragmatism. The answer is A. Existentialism. In existentialism, human beings create their own values and determine a meaning to their life, through their own consciousness it conceives philosophy as something that is human life and the choice that each person has to make. In the situation, the child are given the freedom to choose what to believe, thus they create their own values. Learning is based on the willingness of the student to choose and give meaning to the subject. Number 3. In values education, faith, hope, and love are believed to be permanent values whether they be valued by people or not. Upon what philosophy is this anchored? A. Realism. B. Idealism. C. Existentialism. Or D. Pragmatism. The answer is B. Idealism. The ultimate nature of reality is based on the mind or ideas. It is the family of views that asserts reality, or reality as we can know it, is fundamentally mental, mentally constructed, or otherwise immaterial. That's why faith, hope, and love are believed to be permanent values. Number 4. The significance of liberal education in holistic development of students is supported by a. Perennialism. B. Pragmatism. C. Confucian teaching. Or D. Perennialism and Confucian philosophy. The answer is B. Pragmatism. Pragmatism is an educational philosophy that says that education should be about life and growth. That is, teachers should be teaching students things that are practical for life and encourage them to grow into better people. While holistic development is an approach to learning that emphasizes the importance of the physical, emotional and psychological well-being of children, particularly in early childhood. That is, life and growth of the children. Number 5. To ask the class any insight derived from the poem is based on the theory of a. Realism. B. Behaviorism. C. Conditioning. Or D. Constructivism. The answer is D. Constructivism. According to constructivism, it is the individual that construct reality by reflecting on his own experience and gives meaning to it. Learning is constructing new ideas based on current and past knowledge. Teacher Uriel teaches his pupils that pleasure is not the highest good. 
Teacher's teaching is against what philosophy? A. Realism B. Hedonism C. Epicureanism or D. Empiricism The answer is B. Hedonism Teacher Uriel is against hedonism because hedonism means pleasure is the only good thing to the person. Number 7. A guest speaker in one graduation writes told his audience, Reminder, you are what you choose to be. The guest speaker is more of a or an A. Realistic B. Pragmatist C. Idealist or D. Existentialist The answer is D. Existentialist. Existentialism is all about choice and decision of an individual. Number 8. Principal Edgar shares this thought with his teachers. Subject matter should help students understand and appreciate themselves as unique individuals who accept complete responsibility for their thoughts, feelings, and actions. From which philosophy is this thought based? A. Perennialism. B. Essentialism. C. Existentialism. Or D. Progressivism. The answer is C. Existentialism. Keywords. Understand and appreciate themselves, which is their choice. Number 9. The Department of Education gives greater emphasis on the development of basic skills. What is the philosophical basis for this? A. Essentialism. B. Existentialism. C. Perennialism. Or D. Pragmatism. The answer is A. Essentialism. Essentialism refers to the traditional or back-to-basic approach in education. Number 10. Teacher Mike views his students as unique, free-choosing and responsible individuals. All classroom activities revolve around the said premise. What theory underlies this? A. Essentialism. B. Existentialism. C. Progressivism. Or D. Realism The answer is B. Existentialism Number 11. Which philosophy has the educational objective to indoctrinate Filipinos to accept the teachings of the Catholic Church which is foster faith in God? A. Realism B. Pragmatism. C. Idealism. Or D. Existentialism. The answer is C. Idealism. In idealism, emphasis is given on subjects such as philosophy, literature, religion, and history that will develop and enhance the mind of a child. That is, to indoctrinate Filipinos. Number 12. Virtue is one component in the teaching of Rizal as a course focuses on the teaching of good and beauty consistent with the good and beauty in God. What philosophy supports this? A. Existentialism. B. Idealism. C. Progressivism. Or D. Social Reconstructionism. Again, it is obvious that the answer is B. Idealism. Number 13. The teacher stresses the need to revise the curriculum in order to make the curriculum responsive to the needs of the society. What philosophy does the teacher adhere? A. Pragmatism. 
B. Essentialism C. Existentialism or D. Reconstructionism The answer is D. Reconstructionism. In Reconstructionism, educators focus on a curriculum that highlights social reform as the aim of education. While social reform is a kind of social movement that aims to make gradual change, or change in certain aspects of society, rather than rapid or fundamental changes. Moreover, for social reconstructionists, curriculum focuses on student experience and taking social action on real problems, making it responsive to the needs of the society. Number 14. Teacher Vincent demonstrated the technique on how to group students according to their needs and interests and how to use self-paced instructional materials. Which philosophy is manifested in this activity? A. Essentialism b. Progressivism c. Realism or d. Social Reconstructionism The answer is b. Progressivism. Progressivism focuses on the child as a whole rather than of the content or the teacher. Methods of teaching include discussions, interaction, teacher with students, and group dynamics, that encourage active participation of the learners. Self-paced learning is defined as a specific learning method in which the learner is able to control the amount of material they consume as well as the duration of time they need to learn the new information properly. In connection to the philosophies of education, progressivism is exhibited in this situation. Number 15. Teacher Jenny, a Christian living teacher, puts so much significance on values development and discipline. What could be her educational philosophy? A. Idealism. B. Pragmatism. C. Progressivism. Or D. Realism. The answer is A. Idealism. Idealism keywords are spiritual, values, ideal. Number 16. Activities planned by school clubs or organizations show school community connection geared towards society's needs. What philosophy is related to this? A. Existentialism. B. Progressivism. C. Realism. Or D. Social Reconstructionism The answer D. Social Reconstructionism. For social reconstructionists, curriculum focuses on student experience and taking social action on real problems such as violence, hunger, international terrorism, inflation, and inequality. Strategies for dealing with controversial issues particularly in social studies and literature, inquiry, dialogue, and multiple perspectives are the focus. Community-based learning and bringing the world into the classroom are also strategies. Number 17. What philosophy is related to the practice of schools acting as laboratory for teaching reforms and experimentation? A. Essentialism. B. Existentialism. C. Progressivism. Or D. Social Reconstructionism. The answer is C. Progressivism. Number 18. What philosophy of education advocates that the curriculum should only include universal and unchanging truths? A. Essentialism B. Idealism C. Perennialism Or D. Pragmatism The answer is C. Perennialism 
The word itself means eternal, ageless, everlasting, unchanged. Your teacher is of the opinion that the world and everything in it are ever-changing and so teaches you the skill to cope with the changes. Which is his governing philosophy? A. Experimentalism. B. Existentialism. C. Idealism. Or D. Realism. The answer is D. Realism. Realist educators encourage students to draw their observations and conclusions from the world around them rather than confining themselves to an analysis of their own ideas. With that students will be able to cope with the changes. Furthermore, realism concerns with the actualities of life. The ultimate reality is the world of physical objects. Number 20. Teacher Myra says, if it is billiard that brings students out of the classroom, let us bring it into the classroom. Perhaps, I can use it to teach math. To which philosophy does teacher Myra adheres to? A. Essentialism. B. Idealism. C. Progressivism. Or D. Reconstructionism. The answer is C. Progressivism. Progressivism focuses on experiential learning is considered to be the best way for children to handle real-life situations. Hence bringing the billiard in the class to teach math is one way to implement experiential learning. To wrap it up, the educational philosophies are the following. Idealism. Keywords are spiritual, values, and ideal. Realism is focused on what is real. Empiricism is source of knowledge is the sense-based experience. Naturalism. Keyword is innate. Existentialism. Keywords are choice, decision, and unique. Essentialism refers to the traditional or back-to-basic approach in education. Perennialism. Keywords are classic, literature, traditional. Pragmatism is activation of skills, involves students to work in groups. Progressivism focuses on the child as a whole rather than of the content or the teacher. Epicureanism is considers as a form of ancient hedonism, it identifies pleasure with tranquility and reduction of desire. Hedonism. Pleasure is the only good thing to the person. Humanism. Education is a process and should not be taken abruptly. The unfolding of human character proceeds with the unfolding of nature. Constructivism. It is the individual that construct reality by reflecting on his own experience and gives meaning to it. Reconstructionism is providing solution to problems. He is to improve and reconstruct society, since education is for change. Nationalism stresses on the teaching of the principles of democracy and duties of citizenship. Behaviorism asserts that human beings are shaped entirely by their external environment. Utilitarianism. Actions are geared toward the greatest total amount of happiness that one can achieve. And lastly, rationalism. Source of knowledge is the mind, independent of the senses. That ends our discussion for the educational philosophies. Give this video a thumbs up and share this to your friends. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to enable notification. I'll see you on our next video.